ora, good morning and welcome along to Nga Take o Te Wā, of course, uh, looking at uh, issues that affect us as a people and, of course, us as a nation. Well, uh, the post office, uh, every year they have uh, what they call the post office book awards and um, this year they're for um, yeah, New Zealand Post Book Awards. Now, the uh, Māori Language Award, that's a, a new award this year, uh, the Māori Language Award, to recognise excellence in works published wholly in Te Reo Māori. Uh, this new award reflects the growing number of quality entries of children's books in the Māori language. So uh, there you go. Now, um, of course, when we look at what's happening, uh, also an award of $1,000 may be presented to a book of merit written wholly in Te Reo Māori at the discretion of the judging panel with assistance from the Māori language advisor. Nihikira. The purpose of this award is to reward excellence in works written in Te Reo Māori uh, and for this award the judges and Te Reo advisor and the Te Reo advisor are looking for a well-written work which demonstrates creative insight. They will also consider how the entries relate to Māori children as readers and also their quality in uh, Te Reo Māori. So uh, all of this is to be taken into, uh, con uh, into consideration. Now, uh, the book submitted for this award should be entered in one of the four main categories and nominated for the Māori Language Award on the entry form. So uh, all of that uh, goes towards um, the, this particular book. Of course, now this book, we were privileged to be able to broadcast the launch of uh, the uh, of uh, the book Takakiro Wai, it's a book um, which is a moving and beautifully presented true story set in the North Island's East Coast community of Rangitukia, involving a horse, a pig, and the innate understandings of life between species. Written entirely in Te Reo Māori, the book is interspersed with ex exquisite illustrations, uh, photography and design by uh, Martin Page. Takakiro Wai is published by Tanya and uh, Martin. So uh, there we go. So the bar uh, has been set exceedingly high. And um, joining me to have a bit of a corridor about uh, the fact that one, uh, her book was nominated and two, she could be in for an award. Of course, Auntie Kiri Ka, Noreda, ete tua hene tēnā koe, nau mai ki tēnē wāhanga i runga i te reo i rirangi o ngā te prau. A very good morning to you. Oh, kia ora. That, that was interesting stuff, because I've not heard that. Because I didn't actually enter the book. Mm. I was people didn't went ahead and did it. It's also been entered in other categories, but I don't know what they are. Yeah, and the the thing is too, Auntie Kitty, I mean, Takakiro Wai was just, uh, you know, as, as it says, a true story. And uh, it was something, I suppose, you, you looked out of your uh, your window, saw it, and decided to write about it. And there, there it was. Now, what happened was, we cookie rang up, because it was my oh, birthday okay. when all this happened, and asked me if anything exciting had happened. So I said, oh, yes, the horse had a foal in... She dropped it in the floodwaters. So I explained everything to him, what happened, how April turned up, how Cousin Parakura came to help with the rescue of the foal, and how nigger who owned the horse turned up, Mateo Horere Manuel, mm. he turned up. And it was the conversations that took place between us talking about stuff, because we all grew up in the country. Mm. Country people have a view about animals and nature and they have their own opinions about what is actually happening in the paddock. Mm. But when I thought we cook you all that, because it cost them a heap of money for the phone call, which yeah. lasted one hour <laughs> while I ranted and raved, then he said, Through here, Kororo Turaka, Manga Mokpun. 
So that's what I did. That's why the book is dedicated to Wikuki. Hmm. And and he the, was the, he was inspired by the story. Yeah. And so you know when you when you look at it, I mean, as you say, uh, Auntie Kitty, you know, other people have put the book forward rather than you. Hmm. Uh, Hika. Um, you know, uh, I suppose that's uh, you know, hey, that's a typical Nati. We all hu- we're all very humble. And also, every everybody's been very um, passionate about the book. Their the reception the book has received has been amazing. Mm. No, it has, and Good. yeah, and and just just reading uh, what uh, Mariah had uh, had written. Uh, Mariah Rakuraku, uh, I mean, you know, she, she talks about uh, the book as such a delight for children and adults. And they'll, uh, you know, and uh, they'll respond to the Māori-centric story told in Te Reo Rangatira. Uh, think of told, told actually in Rangitukia speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me, who's Tanya and Martin? Uh, because that's who published the book. Tanya is Eric Short's daughter. Oh, okay. Oh. oh and Martin okay. is her partner, and they're both they both work in the art field. Right. And at some stage, do you remember the Te Papa Thumbprint? Yeah. Well, they they entered, they put in an entry into the, that competition, and I'm not sure if the actual print that used it was their design. And what you do is you. Trade it off with the big dealers like Saatchi. Mm. And I think that's what they handed over the, the ownership of it to someone else. You can sell your, your idea. Mm. And they're both very mm. skilled artists in particular fields and printing and stuff like that. And it was Marty's idea to get a cameraman who knew how to photograph a kind of epic scene of people looks like, it actually looks like some of the work done in some of the Hollywood films. Mm. Where, oh, car boy. So, where oh. people have stood on the landscape and mm. kind of filmed and they look as though they've grown out of the ground. It's a particular technique. Mm. And this photographer, Brendan, who works at Gisborne Hospital, uh, was the photographer who worked with Marty. Okay. And Martin went to our house. I don't know. You've been to my house once, but you haven't had a look through the whole place. And Brother Horney said it looked like a shambolic art gallery. <laughs> but Marty went through the house, and I didn't quite know why. And what he did was he was looking at the walls and reading things into them that I didn't understand, that he could see. Mm. And I realised afterwards, when I saw the book, why he'd gone through the house. Because he said the pictures in the house tell a story about the people who've been in the house. Ahua Matakitine. Mm. Mm. So, um, so have you got the award, aren't or, or, or how to call it all? Yeah, no, that, that's the award. Oh, OK. And it's in two other, six, two other categories. Oh, right. Um, Book of the Year or something like this. I think they entered it for, you know, for experience. Mm-hmm. Because it's all written in Te Reo. Yeah. But the exciting thing is um, I came across a kura who have ensconced themselves in Te Poho Rawiri Marae. And they're led by Te Nohotima. Oh, yeah. Who's the Kaumatua who kind of does all the, he does all the manatane stuff. Yeah. And I was staying at a flat nearby and w- went for a walk and wandered into the kura with my mokupuna. We sat and we took part in class for the day. Sixty children, all from around the coast here. And during Children's Book Week, the, the writers who've been nominated and who've won awards are asked to go into schools to work with children on storytelling and stuff. And I looked at these 60 children with big shining eyes and thought, this is where I'll come for Children's Book Week. 
and I talked to one of the little girls who turned out to be April's granddaughter. Okay. So I'm, during book week, I'm going to be working there, so I'm hoping to get um, Māori TV to come mm. film the kids because they are having problems trying to find the building. So we're oh, just okay. in the process of helping them uh, approach the Ministry of Education to get an actual school. Because Pōrāori Marae is beautiful. That's what they're occupying, but it's cold. And that meeting house is huge. Their assembly hall and what used to be the old kōhanga, just mm. to the side of the hall, is where they've got four classrooms. And they managed to squeeze 60 children in there. The thing team. about them is the teaching. Mm. It's their only. No books. I saw no books, no charts, and no electronic uh, you know, bits and pieces mm. on the TV and screen. So all te reo, te reo, te reo. And considering the panic we are having over our strategic plan for te reo, there's one answer to that solution. Me korero i ngā wākato. Mm. Right. Because the whole thing about language teaching is that language bears repetition. So mm -hmm. you just keep you keep on and keep at it without being too much of a bully, just talking Māori with the kids and expecting a reply in Māori. Mm -hmm. We don't mm -hmm. really need elaborate strategic plans which cost millions. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. The other thing too, of course, is so I suppose um, next... Uh, the next thing to do is to um, get on to Peter Jackson. We could have a uh, we could have a, a film up here. Takaki Oh, and, and people of Rangitiki would make a wonderful cast. Ah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Hey, come on, have a mate. I'm I'm hoping to work on when I get clear of other things to work on an English version of the book, but not a translation. Yeah. Because there are some things in that story, especially when the black back gulls come, the cover will come, mm. that are best just left Aye. for us to, to know about. Aye. Aye. And my, my German sister-in-law, we cook his widow, Aye. wants to do a German version of it. She's actually had publishing experience in Berlin. Hmm, how about her? She wants to enter it in another field, so it's led us to a whole lot of things down some very exciting paths. Yeah, no, absolutely. How oh, about But thank, I'd like to thank the radio station for the CD they're going to send me of the actual book opening. Oh, all right. The book launch. I'm, I'm still waiting. Oh, no, uh, I think Kahu's already on to that, Auntie Katie. So oh, okay. uh, yeah, no, no, he'll uh, he'll he'll bring it over as soon as he uh, sorts it all out. But uh, you uh, enjoy your vegetarian lunch, you and that uh, other nanny you got there, that peacemith. Uh, but te nākwe anti kiri fai wākwe ki te kōrero tu ki tata o te wākanga no reira kanuinga miki ki akwe. Hey, uh, have a great day. Uh, kia ora te whana. Right, kia ora rā. Well, there she goes, editor of the year, or publisher, or Egema. But Takaki uh, Wai, there we go. That's uh, an award that Auntie Kiri has uh, picked up. Kapai, we're back after this. Why